So when you decide you want to make money as a freelancer, the first thing that you need to do is make your portfolio. However, the very next question that I get all the time is what is a portfolio and how do I make one? So in today's video, I'm going to guide you with building your own portfolio and some extra tips on what kind of a portfolio do's and don'ts you can follow so that you get the best quality portfolio so that you get the best quality clients eventually. So without any further ado, let's get started with this little YouTube video, which is no less than a portfolio building masterclass. The first thing that you need to remember is what the hell is a portfolio? So basically a, a portfolio is a collection of what work you have done and what experience you have and why someone should hire you. It is usually presented as a website or a PDF or a Google Drive so that it's easily accessible to anyone you want to show it to. I'll give you a quick example. Let's say you have a shop that sells cakes, pastries and other sweet and savory things. And I decide to freelance and start serving clients like you. If I go to you and tell you that, hey, I'm going to market your business and get you more sales, you'll, you'll be able to make more sales of your cakes if you work with me. The very first thing that you'll ask is, OK, have you done this before? And I can say yes. And then you'll ask, who did you do it for? And then I'll tell you who my clients were. And then you'll ask, what did I exactly do? So basically, you'll have a lot of conversation with me regarding what kind of experience I have. Why not, instead of having that whole long conversation, I present you with a document which has the names of my past clients, what feedback they shared, what kind of work I did for them, and basically what services I can offer you in the same file. It saves both of us a lot of time. That's exactly why freelancers and also many types of businesses build their own portfolios so that the prospects and clients can easily have a look at what they have done in the past and what they can potentially do for them in the future. I hope the concept of a portfolio is absolutely clear. However, I'll be leaving some links to portfolios, both the website and PDF portfolios in the description below so that you can get an even better idea of what a portfolio should look like. Now, a lot of times people think that a portfolio has to be some world's class document with like five star clients and that's just not true. Your portfolio can simply be a couple of articles you wrote with no editing, no graphics, nothing, just raw text. Or it can be a beautiful designed uh, your PDF or presentation that you've made with Canva that really looks elite, okay? However, there's no way that is wrong for making a portfolio. It's actually up to you how you build your portfolio. I personally like elegant designs for portfolios that you can find easily using Canva. However, if you just prefer something like a doc, if you think that presents your work better, by all means, just go for it. So the first thing you need to include in your portfolio is you, right? The, usually the first page of your portfolio is who you are, about you, and what kind of business you do and who you serve. My pro tip for making this first page of your portfolio is don't talk much about yourself. Please try to talk about what kind of work you do, what kind of clients you serve. Yes, integrate that with your personality for sure. But in your portfolio, very few people are interested to know whether you like drinking coffee or tea. Okay, unless you can plug it in a way that helps you. So saying something like I am Saheli and I love coffee in my portfolio is a bad thing. But if I write something along the lines on Hi, I'm Saheli and you'll usually find me on Monday mornings on my desk making great marketing plans while sipping coffee. Well, that is integrated with what I actually do, marketing, right? So it shows my personality, but not in a way that the client doesn't care about, okay? One of the first things that you learn when you start business is that no one cares about you. However, you still somehow need to show your unique personality. And the best way to do that is through an integration of both. I hope that this tip helps you. So first page done. Second page, usually you can write something along the lines of what kind of primary services you sell. Okay, so is it marketing? Is it Instagram marketing? Is it writing? Is it web designing? Is it something else? Graphic designing maybe? Is it UI UX design? Is it copy? Is it sales? Is it community management? Is it virtual assistance? What what, are the, what is the whole arsenal of your services? I highly recommend that don't put more than three to four primary services in this page. Now, either you can just write the service names and be done with it, or write the service name and give some explanation on what is the purpose of that service. You can depend on whatever you think will fit you best in the situation. 
at this point i just give those primary services we offer but when i got started i actually give a description of what exactly those meant as well but that was primarily because when i was starting off i was working with clients who were also very newbies they didn't know what facebook ads management meant at this point i usually work with clients who actually have a basic idea at least so i don't usually explain much so that really depends a little bit on what type of clients you will eventually target so yeah that's going to be probably the second page the third page can be some samples of your work so if you're a content writer some samples of your writing if you are a graphic designer some samples of your graphics if you are a virtual assistant some screenshots of assisting that you have done what kind of results that has brought and yeah that is going to be the next thing you add what type of results have you brought for your clients after you worked with your client did insights show an increased engagement after you worked with your client does the graphics and does the profile visibly look much better show results show before and after one of the best ways to set your portfolio apart from the crowd and masses instead of just showing what you do show the results of your actions now of course when you're getting started it's a little hard to have any results to show but any sort of positive interaction any visible changes will be good enough to show as before and after and results at least when you don't have numbers to speak for it now results are the most important part of your portfolio in fact anyone can do any everything as i'm recommending at this point but results is not something that any newbie can add all the time but there are some hacks around it that i just recommended adding numbers from your own profile by working on your own profile if your clients are not giving you access to theirs or you can just ask your clients for the numbers by telling them that hey i was looking to know how much your conversion rate increased after i did your copy if you could please share that number it will help me in understanding how i can serve you better okay never say that i needed to build my portfolio say something along the lines of i need it so that i can serve you better okay now usually this tip can only be done if you already have at least a beta client or primary client when you're getting started in any case you are always technically your first first client you're going to do things for yourself first so you can always take screenshots and samples from that as well and add it into your portfolio the next thing you need to add into your portfolio is testimonials now testimonials usually again come from beta clients but if you don't have any clients yet don't worry much about the testimonial part you can always get testimonials later when you start working with more clients however the moment you do add some testimonials of your clients what kind of things your clients say about you and do they really vouch for you what kind of experience your clients had with you that is really helpful i get a lot of questions around the fact that can i get testimonials from friends and family yes technically you can but then at least serve them in some way so that it can be legit and not just something your friend did to you or a family member did for you as a favor that being said the next page of your portfolio can be your services or service recommendations for this particular client this is the page of my portfolio i always used to customize no matter which client i'm sending it to most people have a set portfolio they send to everyone but for me after i present the whole portfolio i changed that one page because different clients would already be inclining towards different services so changing that one page of service recommendations helped me a lot so service recommendations would be what are the services you will recommend for this particular client and if you can add any relevant samples for that okay and in the last page of your portfolio please add some links to contacting you to following you to talking to you further i recommend highly highly recommend adding a canonly link to directly book a meeting with you and on the meeting you actually seal the deal now i hope that you have got a full guidance on how to build your portfolio now that your portfolio is ready you are ready to look for clients and if you want my next video to be on how to search for clients using social media let me know in the description below and yes if you found this video helpful give it a big thumbs up the a to z of freelancing is covered within my academy freelance 101 academy so if you're interested in joining our batch tree will be opening soon so the wait list will be in the description below so yeah without any further ado sign up if you want to join the next batch on priority last time we had to turn away over 1300 students because we were full before two weeks so yeah make sure that if you're interested in making sure that you make money in 2022 the legit way online make sure that you are signing up for the waitlist and yeah till my next video bye bye i hope that you make an amazing portfolio more links and information will be in the description below till then bye signing off